for sale. Dude, one time, oh, I was looking to buy paintings, art, mm. you know? Yeah. And I was put in touch with a painter, an artist, a young woman in Brooklyn who was like a friend of my sister's friend. And I went over to her studio, which was also her apartment, to look at some of her paintings. And I was so attracted to this woman that I ended up buying two of the paintings. Mm. And then I brought them home and I hung them up on my wall. And a week later, we went on a date. And we went to see the movie uh, Summerland? No, La La Land. We saw La La Land and I loved it. And then we went back to her apartment with the paintings again. We made out for a little bit. And then I went home and realized that I was no longer attracted to her. And then when I got home, the paintings on my wall looked like shit. And I realized that the entire allure of the paintings was tied to my attraction to the artist. And then I started thinking, well... I guess I'd better hope that she dies because <laughs> the everyone knows that paintings gain value when the artist is no longer alive and I need to get rid of these things as soon as possible. Well, dude, I think that that's the whole point of a good piece of art. You have a great story. They're like, wow, Francis, look how hideous your art is. And, I'm, and you're like, I know it was the craziest thing. This woman was just so attractive <clears throat> and sincere it, and deep yeah. that I was forced to buy it. It was like I was dating, not the, I wasn't dating the painting. I was dating her. And then when I realized that we weren't really right for each other, uh, the paintings lost all, they went from like a a nine to a five. Right. And I didn't want them on my wall anymore. But then I'd spent $3,000 on these two paintings. Oh, Jesus. And I, dude, I ended up, um, when I moved out of that apartment, I ended up just putting one of them out on the street for free. Oh my! Somebody and it was picked up. That's gonna be in the New York Post. It made me happy that someone did take it. Selena Adams painting found on the sidewalk. But I still have the other one. Is it but here? I don't. I just have it hidden Storage. away in a fucking closet somewhere. Ugh, dude. I mean, one of my friends' parents bought a a bad piece of art, and it was weird too. Like he bought it and he put it up on the wall and it was just two men like staring into each other's eyes and like touching each other on the beach. And he was like, what does this say about me? And it's obvious what it says about him. (laughs) But I had to lie, dude. I had to be like, Oh dude, I think it, you know, you love the beach and like, this is your, (laughs) you like ocean spray. You're a nautical man. You naughty, naughty boy. It was crazy. I was like, dude, Jesus Christ. And like, I don't know, yeah, pretty intense moment. Well, these are all oopses. <clears throat> Purchasing yeah. things because you're attracted to someone and not actually wanting of the thing. Uh, Showing off. Proving to the girl that you're cool. Yeah. I'll take it. The, these are all good mistakes that we should counsel you to avoid. Uh, because you have to, to know that buying a painting is not going to necessarily ensure a life of love with the the creator of the painting right in fact quite the contrary is most likely 